Hey fam, it's C and I'm back with a long overdue uh, video from a mini hiatus. I don't know if you guys were aware, but I've been gone for a couple of months. Um, the videos that I uploaded prior to this one, were they were recorded several months ago. It's February 28th and I am recording my texturizer slash relaxer update video. I don't remember when my last update was, but I will put the link down below if you want to do comparison of length. I do have, I believe, two to three prior relaxer update videos on that channel. Anywho, I did relax my hair at about 16 weeks post. It could have been 18, 16 to 18 weeks post. Um, I usually can go from four months to six months, depending on how I'm wearing my hair. If I am braided up under wigs or weaves, the time passed, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I don't have my hair out anyway. But, um, yeah, so I did do my texturizer with the normal product that I used, which was the RS Organic Root Stimulator in the normal, mild to normal formula. I know they have normal to mild and they have coarse resistance. So in the normal to mild formula, um, what I typically do when I relax my hair is the night before I will saturate my hair in oil. What I usually do, and I shouldn't say my hair, what I usually do is saturate my ends. So what I'll do is I'll take my hair like so and I'll use a non-penetrating oil and I'll go down it with either like castor oil or um you can use a penetrating oil I've done it with coconut oil I've done it with avocado oil it really doesn't matter to me and I have never had any negative effects um when relaxing my hair thank god no problems no balding no itching like a lot of people say why they went natural so yeah um if you don't know what it looks like everyone i'm sure knows what organic root stimulator products looks like um this is just the little leaflet this is an organic root stimulator this is just what they give you to properly relax. So what I did was I applied my hair. I'll insert a picture on how I separate my hair. I did take pictures prior to relaxing. And what I did was I separated my hair. And I usually leave the edges out and the nape out. And then I will relax my whole hair. Not my whole, the length of my hair. My whole head up to the line of demarcation. And then I'll go back in and do the nape. And I'll go back in and do the edges. After I rinse my relaxer out thir thoroughly, I do a mid-step protein treatment and I don't neutralize. I'll just take whatever protein I'm using. I've used um, the Afrogy 2-Minute Reconstructor and I absolutely love that one as well. And this is another one of my favorites and this is the Dual Tex. And this is by um, Johnson Products. This is by Ultrasheen. And this is 33.8 fluid ounces, and it's $5.49. And this bad boy will last you for infinity, infinity, last you to infinity, because it don't stop. Let me stop. <laughs> so it'll last you forever, and you'll always have it. Um, I left that in, and this is pH balance. So you definitely need something. If you have a protein treatment and it's not pH balance, then you're going to need something else. So I use this. It's pH balanced. So when you relax your hair, you're raising the pH to ridiculous amounts. I don't know if it's around 8.5. It might be 7 something. Don't quote me. It's in that field. And you need to bring your hair I just had a freaking brain fart. <laughs> you need to, that will be edited out. You need to you know, knock the pH balance off of your hair and you're gonna need something that's gonna bring your natural pH balance back down from the chemicals. This can be used, it says on, it just says chemical service. So you can also use this with a color treatment. I left that on for the required time. It's a straight up liquid. If you have any questions, I will do a detailed review on that. Just let me know. 
I rinsed that out and I proceeded to shampoo my hair three times. Two out of the three times I let the neutralizing slash chelating shampoo sit on my hair and I use organic root stimulator creamy aloe. Um, if you're unable to get that, I know Redken does make a chelating shampoo. I might be mispronouncing it. I have a lisp. So you can check that one out. It's excellent for hard water areas. Uh, it removes the mineral deposit. A lot of people do not like box relaxers because it makes their hair feel different, but that's because you need to remove the minerals, the extra minerals that are deposited on your hair. So that's what that does. I use that. And then after that, I went back in with the French Perm. This is a ooh, smooth jam. With the French Perm Stabilizer Plus. And this is another thing. It brings your hair back down to a 2.5 pH. Well, the pH of this is 2.5. So it's bringing your hair back down to a normal pH. So I just made sure. This foams. I absolutely love this. I didn't need both, but I did use both. So next time, I'll probably do a different protein, or I'll go ahead and use both. I didn't have any reaction to using both. My hair was definitely still soft, felt so silky after using both. Next thing I did was I deep conditioned my hair with the Giovanni Smooth as Silk mixed in with wheat germ oil because it had ceramides in it. Another video, but that's why I use wheat germ oil mixed into my conditioner and... This is the Giovanni Smoother Silk Deeper Moisture. This is one of my favorite moisturizing conditioners of all time. So I hoard them when I'm in TJ Maxx or Marshalls. If there's none on the shelf and you're looking for them, I have them. I, I get out of all Giovanni leaders I hoard. But you can get them from Massage Warehouse. If you're interested, and you can buy it in the gallon. And that's my next baby, the gallon. So I did that. I rinsed my hair after sitting under the dryer for about maybe 15 minutes, I rinsed my hair. Then I followed up with the Chi Keratin Mist. And because I knew I was gonna straighten my hair, I used this to put some extra protein or the keratin strengthening treatment in my hair. On top of that, I used the Triple Moisture, so it's kind of balanced. And this made my hair very soft. And I used my Kerapro Restorative Serum. This serum is okay, but I really like the Kera Pro products from Sally. The conditioner is absolutely excellent. It is a knockoff version of the Kerastas Oleo Relax. And for those people who don't know what the Kerastas is, it's 60 bucks. It's excellent. It's for coarse resistant hair and it is excellent. This shining elixir, if you don't mind cones, um, it has hydrolyzed keratin in it. It does have dimethicone. That's the only cone in it. It has hydrolyzed keratin protein. It has safflower seed oil, rice bran oil. Um, I don't know. It just makes my hair feel really nice. And then I proceeded to flat iron my hair. And I flat ironed it bone straight. <clears throat> and the reason why I flat ironed it bone straight is because I'm going to trim it. So right now I just have a deep side part. And I am wearing a black shirt, go figure, so I'm going to go change my shirt so I can do an official length check for everyone. Okay, I'm back. I am not going to get a tape measure. Um, if that's what you want to see, let me know. I'll be happy to do it for you. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you basically how my hair has been thriving under installs and wigs. Just gonna lightly detangle my ends. So this is the middle of my hair. I'm just gonna bring it front. It basically comes down to here. You can see. And then I'm gonna part my leave out so you can see when I wear my installs that you can still have a healthy long leave out. That's my leave out usually. And my bangs, I have kind of swoop bangs naturally cut into my hair. If you go back and look at my videos, it started kind of at my nose. I had china bangs and then it grew out. So it is growing. It is healthy. As long as you keep your hair moisturized under your installs or your wigs, it will thrive. Alright, here are my sides. You can see 
Can you see that? Other side. I'm trying to keep my head straight so I'm not like leaning and altering the length. And I will show you it from the back. Don't laugh at my pajama pants because I like my pajama pants, okay? Here's the back of my hair. I'm just going to part it for you. And I'm just holding my head straight up because I don't want to alter the length. My bra strap is up here. Right, if you could see that. I'm just going to grab my hair down. See the ends. Down. brings me around to almost kind of waist length I'm not claiming waist length yet I would like to be full waist length I'm probably around two and a half inches from waist length um yes yeah, so hopefully fingers crossed by December of this year I will be full waist length if not beyond um thanks for watching stay tuned being at my hair will be out much more um for videos on hair health uh irregardless of what how you choose to wear your hair be it relaxed natural texturized um or if you're transitioning there'll be plenty of styling videos there'll be plenty of hair health videos There'll be plenty of hair benefit videos. Um, also, there'll be more styling videos. Now, my hair will not be worn straight. Um, the next few times you'll see it will probably be in braid outs, twist outs, or buns. I am currently exercising six to seven days a week. So, I will probably be co-washing twice a week and air drying my hair because of the sweat. Um, if you want to see anything else, let me know. If you want a detailed review of any of the products that I showed... Please let me know. Don't forget to thumbs up, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, comment, rate, share. Uh, if there's anything you want to see from me, let me know. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to see as far as hair health, let me know. I'll do that for you. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.